So the next generation iMac is going to be skipping over getting an M2 chipset inside and getting the M3 and possibility it could be getting an M3 Pro inside too. Today I want to go over all the details of this report and go over the specs, design and of course I want to give you the iMac 2023 release date and price. But first, a quick summary of where we are with the iMac. So Apple updated the only remaining iMac in 2021 with a whole new design with a 24.5 inch display with the M1 chipset inside. The design is the thinnest iMac that's ever been created and it's gone back to its old sort of late 90s roots of adding lots of colours you can pick from. The iMac is a great home PC for anyone who just needs to browse the web or do some amateur music or photo or video editing as the M1 chipset can more than capable cope with these sort of day-to-days and ad hoc basis tasks. Well, there's also some great news as Apple are looking to enhance this new design iMac with a couple of new features and of course put the next generation M3 chipset inside it. So with that, the M2 journey is now coming to an end where we've got the M2 Pro and the M2 Max being added and also the M2 Ultra is just around the corner. The next logical step is to bring out the M3 chipset. So we're expecting this iMac to be one of the first Apple devices to get an M3 chipset as it's been nearly two years since the iMac has had a refresh. The M3 chipset will be made on a 3 nanometer die and we're expecting of an increase of around 50% of more CPU performance than we had with the M1 because of those extra cores and also sort of the new die process and extra tweaks and things like that. But for the GPU, we'll be gaining up to 70% more power again with more cores and also being on that 3 nanometer die. As you can imagine, it's logical for Apple to now apply this chipset into devices that are due a refresh again and this includes the smaller MacBook Pro and also the MacBook Air 13 inch and maybe also at the same time this iMac 2. So you're probably wondering why well, we're not going to be getting an M2 at this stage. Well a report is coming from Mark Gurman claiming that the next iMac will not be getting an M2 chipset but in fact be getting the M3 chipset based on 3 nanometer die instead. However Gurman is claiming that this will be coming out in late 2023 at the earliest alongside a new M3 MacBook Air and other models. If this does come true, this would mean it'd be a mighty blow on the iMac as already at the time of making this video, it's nearly been two years. German said that the M3 is coming at the earliest, the fall of 2023. So this would mean that the iMac has skipped the whole M2 and that it would be like about two and a half years before we actually get the next sort of chipset put inside the iMac where it'll actually get its first refresh. So it could even be even more than three years if the M3 journey does even start in 2024 too. German does have a very good record at being correct, but has that multiple times before a launch of a product changed his mind on when the products will actually come out. So it'll be interesting to see in the next couple of months if his mind changes again. For me, I believe that Apple missed out on a massive opportunity putting an M2 inside the iMac before the summer of 2023, because sales of the My iMac are already drying up as you can imagine, as you can buy yourself an M2 Mac Mini and pair it with a 4K 24 inch display, and it'll cost less than the M1 iMac and plus you also get more ports too on that Mac mini. So to wait another say 9 to 12 months again for a new chipset does seem a bit crazy. But with all of this, a quick note, with any of these leaks, even up to the new iMac release date, that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they'll come true with the new iMac. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're still watching this video, you're just curious about I knowing what is being said about the next iMac anyway. So next of all, release date. And as the M2 journey in all Macs are coming to an end with M2 chips in MacBooks, iPads and the Mac Mini, it does seem that the M3 journey could start the end of 2023. And we've had reports like this one showing the M3 is on its way. So we could get the new iMac in the fall of 2023 as the iMac would have not been updated in two and a half years by that time. 
Apple are normally do an event in September time, and this is more primarily towards sort of Apple Watch, the iPads, and also the iPhones. However, we could also get another event around about mid to end October time, showcasing the new Macs, and they could come out around kind of the sort of the end of October or early November time. It is expected for Apple to release the new M3s at this time, and it's very well possible that the new M3 iMac will also be coming out with these new products. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods 3 as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically, these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, example and basically you need to pay for the shipping please do report it here on YouTube all you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there so to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So with that out of the way, let's now talk about the iMac specs along with the price. So I'm going to be talking about mainly about the 24 inch iMac with the M3 chipset inside it. There is the possibility that we're going to be also getting an M3 Pro chipset inside it, but I'll talk about that at another date. So let's just mainly focus on the M3. So really for the design wise and also the display, nothing really is going to change with this new 24 inch iMac. It's going to be similar to what we've had with say the MacBook Pros, the 14 inch and the 16 inch models, where we've just basically had an update of chipset chipset inside it. So we're going to be expecting that same 23.5 LED Retina display coming in at a 4480 by 2520 and that will also give us 218 pixels per inch or PPI. We'll also be getting a very similar sort of storage options available so from 256 gigabytes all the way up to 2 terabytes of storage for your choice. The M3 chipset is looking likely at the moment to be still getting the still 10 core CPU and up to a 12 core GPU but if things do change with this we will be updating this information and then for RAM again still it does look like we'll be getting a choice of 8 gigabytes of RAM 16 gigabytes of RAM or a choice of 24 gigabytes of RAM the actual body of the actual iMac will be made out of an aluminum body or an aluminium body if you're here in the UK and then basically, depending on what kind of chipset you pick, if you pick sort of the binned version of the M3 or the normal version of the M3, then you'll either get the choice of two times USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports with two times USB ports, or you'll just basically get two times Thunderbolt 4 ports and also the one gigabit um, Ethernet port too. The colors of choices will be very similar again. You'll be getting the blue, the green, the red, the silver, yellow, orange, and purple choices. But the webcam could also be updated this time to a 1080p center stage camera. It does make a lot of sense now. 
The prices also will be very similar. We'll also be getting with 8 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage, would cost us 1,299 US dollars. And then also, if you wanted to go up to the 512 gigabyte option with the 8 gigabytes of RAM, be 1,499 US dollars. And then the one terabyte, 1,699 US dollars. And I think you get the idea here. So as you can see, Apple built on the foundations of the M1 iMac and just basically made it a little bit more better, especially by getting that M3 chipset inside it. So next on my wishes for the iMac M3, I would love to see an M3 Pro being added to the iMac at least. Right now we can get the Mac Mini with an M2 Pro inside this and this is considered as the cheapest Mac out there with an M2 Pro inside it. I think it would be great for Apple to bring the M3 Pro to the iMac and also especially that the iMac does have fans inside it that you could also probably keep this M3 cool and you wouldn't have anything like throttling issues for those people who want to do powerful editing and also for you creators out there too but those are my thoughts on the current iMac what are your wishes for it let me know in the comments below and let me know if you agree with this choice too because I'd love to know your thoughts and on that guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure you like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell until next time guys I will see you really soon Take care. Bye-bye.